Hi Bandeko, Privet, Bonjour, Bote. Welcome to this video. Yeah, it's like 6 a.m., 6 12. Yeah, guys, uh, we're gonna spend time together. Uh, we're gonna talk about a few things. I'm gonna let you guys know how things are going. And I have, I have a good news for you guys. I'm going to take my exam in like two weeks, you know, in like today is like October 23, but I'm gonna take my exam in. Uh, November 6th so I just have two weeks to go so let's go and do one block of your word and yeah and do some Anki you know and yeah I will see you around guys let's go <laughs> I did four equations uh, the reason why I'm doing that it's simply because I just want my you know just working on my test taking strategy and also you know I just want to keep that flow you know of like uh, doing questions you know because I don't want to I know that I'm two weeks out but I just don't want to like stop doing questions even though I already gone through them you know I already finished it so now I just restarted it and uh, yeah to just be able to do the second pass but just in the way of like just uh, recording information and just working on my test taking strategy and see how sure i am when i'm choosing questions you know because i know that there's a little bit of a bias you know because i've already gone through them you know but yeah just trying my best to keep practicing because it's one of the best question but now i will have to do some flashcards uh i'm gonna do maybe an hour or two hours of flashcards this morning and i'm gonna also do two hours or three hours uh, in the evening so i'm trying my best to do like four to five hours of flashcards per day so i can maybe go through 300 cards you know just to be able to record information to review because now is the it's two weeks out so i just have to review again and again and also work on my week area this is why uh after that i will have to take a shower eat take my breakfast and after that I will come and, and use uh, Mel Magical PDFs. And I think yesterday I tried like uh, MSK, um, uh, anatomy and rheumatology, uh, a little bit of dermatology too. Uh, it was good, uh, to really be honest, it was good. Uh, it's PDF file, like what I did was really good. Like, do you know the information? It's what I needed. For me, I think it's a very good PDF to review, you know? That's my own that's my own opinion like it's very good when you are like three weeks out four weeks out of two or two weeks out you're just gonna review them because they have some nbme based explanation or questions you know so yeah i'm reviewing I'm, i will try my best to review as much as i can and also review those weak area you know like pulmo sometimes i'm confused there and etc so this is really the goal and yes so that's the thing you guys should not worry how i'm dressing it's cold you know it's cold I'm living in Portland, Maine, so it's really cold now. Even though it's still October 23, but yeah, it's cold out here. And also, you see my haircut. I didn't even. This is the exam, man. I don't. I, I don't even have time like to really go and cut my hair because I'm like I'm gonna maybe spend an hour there, you know, while you're waiting other people finish. And nah, it's time now is like so precious. So maybe two days before my exam, when I will have to rest, I will go and cut my hair. So sorry for this face <laughs> yes bandico i also want to tell you guys that i told you guys that i didn't record any video for like a month and during that month i took like 20 bmes uh, i didn't really score as i wanted to be really sincere i passed i had a 96 percent of chance to pass the exam but i did some mistakes you know like i wasn't really trusting my god that's why i'm trying my best to review as much as i can and to really go deep because there are questions i was like i know it but i don't know why i just changed my mind that's why people say don't change your mind and it's true i missed close to like 
it's, I don't know, per block, maybe close to four questions per block that I really knew. I don't even know what happened to me. And also sometimes rushing because of time. And also since I had like a biostat question or a uh, genetic question that I have to calculate, so it, it, it took me longer, you know, instead of taking me like 90 seconds, it took me like a little bit longer. And that's what I have to work on. Do a lot of genetic, do a lot of biostats, so to be able to make it like become just, uh, you know, medical. So if you are a, you are you are you are studying hard and you say that oh i want my, my next nbme i want to score 75 and if you go you don't score as you wanted for example don't feel bad don't don't just feel like no i can't do it or no i'm not uh, i'm not that smart or whatever no 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 go back home check your incorrect and work on them and go back again and take another nbme even if you don't score again as you wanted it's okay just study as hard as, as you can give everything that you 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 have you know that's why I tell people like don't don't be average don't have an average mindset you know uh what i think i always think that when they write exams they write it not for the smartest student in the world they don't also write it for the laziest student when an exam it's written uh, it's written for an average student you know so like when i was in ukraine i studied medicine and uh in ukraine and uh, we had step one and step two too so we have like croc one and croc two Люди, які в Україні, які дивляться ці відео, ви самі знаєте, що у нас було крок один і крок два. So we had like крок one and крок two. This is like step one, step two. I wrote my step one in the third year of medical school and my step two in the sixth year of medical school. This is for Ukraine. And uh, yeah, it's just the same thing, like studying hard, coming and writing a test and just waiting for the results, you know. So what I understood is like, yeah, the test is not written for uh, the, the people that are genius, you know. So if you put in your mindset like I am not average, you know, even though you were average in medical school, even though if someone told you you were average, even if you're in primary school or in college you were average, when you are, you have to tell yourself like I am not average, and you do your best to study, not as an average person, but to study here. You need to remove this average mindset. You don't have to say like oh no, since this exam is just for average people, so I'm just gonna study, you know. Uh, I don't know the passing rate is what 60 percent. I don't know. I don't really know. 65. I don't know. But if you are like, oh, yeah, since the passing rate is just 60 percent, this is just like, oh, pass or fail. I just have to study and go. No, even if it's written like for I don't know average student, you say I am not average. And what you do, you study for you to score. I don't know 280, 290. It doesn't matter. You study as hard as you can. And if you come during the result, if you are here, it's okay. If you are here, it's fine. If you are here, but the thing that we know, we can be sure that you will never be here. But if you study for it to be just as an average, and if that day, I don't know which type of form you have, maybe there were more biochemistry questions, maybe there were more, I don't know what type of question, and you drop, you fail the exam because your mindset was what? I am just average, I just have to study here. No. So the mindset that you need to have is like, I want to study here. And even if you know that you have difficulties, work on those difficulties. I don't think that people average I'm, I'm really being honest it's just you you have to to, to decide to sacrifice you have to decide to work hard it's not a, m a mindset of like oh because i went in primary school i was i don't know i wasn't that good because in my medical school i didn't do that good does that mean the usmd i'm not i'm also not gonna be good oh i'm i'm also not gonna do good or i'm not I'm, I'm not i can't just do that because you're smelly for people no you don't like don't think like that okay if now you think you're average it's okay you're average okay so when you wake up i don't know when you're watching this video now you say okay i always thought that i was average but from today i am not average anymore i'm gonna push myself i'm gonna push and push and i'm gonna believe and god is gonna help you and god will see your effort i'm being serious you don't have to i hate negativity you know that's why i'm doing those videos because i want someone that is maybe in my shoes to say like oh ibrahim did it you know i can also do it you know you bring was in that situation he did that me to me too i can do it so that's the reason why i'm sharing that journey the reason why i'm doing like the reason why i'm doing all those video all those series is because i want to motivate you guys i can sit here talk about like endocrinology how to study neuro how to study endocrinology how to study msk or whatever to give you guys lectures but i'm not doing that because there are already many people doing that you know excellent people doing that but the purpose of this channel the purpose of those videos is because I want to motivate you. I want to, to understand like, oh, I can do it. Ibrahim did it, I can also do it. Ibrahim w was once in my shoes. He was facing what, I was, what I'm facing now. He was going through what I'm going now and he did it, so me too, I can do it, you know. I, what I want, I want to tell you that you are not average. I want to tell you that you can do it, you know. But is it gonna be easy? No. 
Are you going to suffer? Yes. Are you going to cry maybe? Yes. Is it going to be painful? Yes. But you can do it. Are you going to learn? Wow, you're going to learn a lot. Not just the medical things, you know, but it's going to change you. Like me, believe me, it's not just a medical journey now, you know. I've learned a lot about myself, learned a lot in every area of my life, you know, physically, spiritually, mentally. I've been learning a lot, working on myself too. So, it, it's not just a, it's not just a painful journey, or it's not just like, you no, know, I'm isolated, but it's like, it is also fun in the way that I'm discovering things that I didn't know before, you know. And uh, yes, it is. It it's really worth it, you know. It's really worth it. That's the thing I, that I can tell you guys. This exam is just an exam. It is hard, but it's just an exam. It's written for people to pass. So, and uh, yes, the goal is to become the best version of ourselves. That's what I'm sharing here. I want you to become the best that you can be. You can study to become a lawyer, to become a judge, a computer science guy or whatever. I just want you to be the best version of yourself. Of yourself. Not compare yourself with someone else. Not I'm not doing that because I want to be better than another doctor. No, no, no. I want to be the best version of myself. I want to be that doctor that I can be better than who I am today. You know, I want to help people as the best as I can because I want to become better. I want to work on myself. It's not about comparing myself with other people. If one we're gonna drop our CV or all of all, all of our stuff, if there that we compare us, this is them. But personally, when we are working hard on this earth, it's because we want to be the best version of ourselves. We see other people, we copy things, we we take what is good, we leave what is wrong. That's the thing. You have to copy the good things. You know, for example, I'm talking here. You can take some information for what I'm talking about, and you can have the one that you have and you apply it in your life. This is the reason why we live. But we, I cannot be like someone. When I watch people's videos, sometimes I learn from them. But I, I don't say like I, I have to be like this person because what that person is going through, I don't know, you know. So yes, Bandico, two weeks out. I am tired, uh, exhausted. But as I told you, we don't give up. When things get harder, we also become tough, you know. And uh, and we keep pushing. So yes, guys, I'm excited too. I'm excited to finish and to rest before starting again for my step two. So yes, uh, yes, Bandico. But for now, we are focused on step one, and we're gonna give everything that we we got. So yeah. <laughs> so we see you guys. You know, I can talk like that for like for like the whole day. I love just sh like just sharing, sharing, sharing what I have inside here. I don't read any script. I don't. That's the reason why you see me changing topic from topic, you know, because I'm just talking with my heart and just letting you guys understand. Like, I know it's hard. I know you might study in a situation. Maybe your situation is complicated. Maybe, you know, financially, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I know it can be hard in, in different areas for you to be able to pursue your, your dreams and whatever. But those dreams, you can make them become a reality it's gonna ask you a lot of sacrifice but yeah but you can do it you know and i want you to know that you are worth it you are not average and you are the one <laughs>
So yeah, I'm about to take my breakfast. So I'm gonna eat something to have some energy to re to recharge. You know, because we need we need those calories. We need this extra protein. We need those extra carbs to be able to go for this marathon. So yes, Bandeko. Now I'm I'm going to study um, uh, the PDF. I'm gonna review the PDF. Uh, so I'm about to review like pulmonology. I told you like I'm having some issue with pulmonology. So I'm gonna it's like 67 pages. I'm gonna go through it, review it real quick, and uh, yeah. So yes, as I told you guys, this is two weeks out. We're just gonna review and review and review, and try to work on those weak area. Try to record information and yes, and get ready for the exam. You know. So yes, Madiko, this is my morning. I just wanted to share this morning with you guys. And yes, Bandico, so please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And the most important, don't forget that you are not average. I'm not playing. I'm not joking. This is serious. You can do it. You can do it. And when I'm going to write this exam, what the result going to come out, and you will see that was what I was saying is true. Because if I can do it, you can also do it, brother. You can also do it, sister. You can also do it, Bandico. okay? So we'll see you in the next video, Bandico. Peace. Let's go.